Um, the, the issue at hand is whether Christopher Columbus should be considered a hero in war villain in history. And because of current events with what's going on in the world today, we have went through a long research process looking up the facts and, and stories about what happened with Christopher Columbus. You guys delved into quite a number of different articles and videos. And so my question is, should, what did you find? Explain to me what you found and what you think was what came out of it. What was your experience like? What did, you know, tell, tell me a little bit about your journey as you came up with an answer to this question. And remember, and I'm going to say this out loud, there is no right answer. The answer is right for you based on the evidence that you found. So I want to know what you found that was right for you. Anybody want to start before me here, please? Isabella, you want to start? Yeah. What'd you find? Opposite point of view. Anybody take the hero point of view that would like to, to counter that argument a little bit? Justin? I think he's a hero because he found a faster, cheaper route to the Bahamas. Okay. Why is that important? Because if he would have went the other way, he probably wouldn't have went to the Bahamas. Okay. And? Then he could have, and he would not have sold the Indians. Okay. Pfeiffer? That's an interesting notion. That's an interesting notion. Skeleton. Everybody in the past had skeletons well, in their closet. A lot. Do people have skeletons in their closet now? Yeah. Are there famous people that we that we admire for good things that may have done some bad things? Yeah. Could you think of the same with some examples? Evan. George Washington. Sure. Well, he's in the past. What about current people now? Yes. I just I want to make my case. Okay, make your case. Go ahead. I, he is a villain. And to say that that was acceptable for his time, the word got spread back to Europe about what he was doing. He, he was originally a, gov he was a governor of a province in Spain. He was stripped of that title and thrown in jail. So to say that it was actually for, that was okay for his time, that's completely false. Because? Be because he was, he was thrown in jail for, for his actions when his actions got spread to, to Europe. So... You can't really say that it was ex acceptable by those standards when somebody who did that actually got thrown in jail. It's a strong argument, guys. Well, Betsy, what are you going to say? I mean, I wanted to say that he was thrown in jail because he also was not right to the people in the colony from Europe. That's also a main reason why he was thrown in jail. But another main the, reason. The people that was there. But another main reason is the people. Another main reason is what he did to the Native Americans. So was, was he was he so thrown in jail because of what he did to the colonists, or was he thrown in jail because of what he did to the Native Americans? I believe he was thrown in jail for the colonists because his way of government and how he governed things was horrible, and the Native Americans were part of that. But the main reason I believe he was thrown in jail was because he mistreated the colonists, and the colonists were from Europe. Well, I I believe the complete opposite. That as much as he might have mistreated the colonists, don't get me wrong, he he didn't rape them. There was no way he did not rape them. He did not brutally murder them. Genocide does not come into question when you're thinking about um, his government role in Europe. Genocide comes into question, all that stuff, when you're thinking about the Native Americans. 
that was the original cause of what he was in jail for. I have read articles. All right, it. how do we, let's, let's let me cut in and interject here for the rest of the class. We had two opposing views. How do we determine, how do we figure out who's more correct? What could we do in this situation to find out who is more correct? What could we do, Austin? Research. What else? Catherine? Uh, we can compare and contrast. How do we know? I mean, and now the key thing here is you say, I've read many articles, right? We could say, I've read, or we could actually say which articles we've read and point out where in those articles we found that information. That makes the argument stronger, right? Because we've got to figure out what is the correct information. So that brings us to the, the issue of judgment. And I think Joe brings up a, uh, a valid point, and Pfeiffer brings up a point. Is it right to judge people in the past of the, that we have value, with the values that we have today? Do we, is, is, that, is, that, is that fair? Let, let's, say, let's say, is it right? Is it fair to do that? I'll wait for an answer. The age, what do you think? an interesting perspective. So that kind of says that he's more of a hero. Okay. Catherine? Emma? I think he shouldn't be qualified as a hero because um, when he did this, it was in the late 1400s, early 1500s. Okay. And it took hundreds of years for America to actually manifest from what he did. So I don't think he should be qualified as a hero because his bad actions had a positive effect. I don't know. I'm not going to say nothing. Reaction to that, to reaction to that statement right there. Could you say that last part one more time for me again? I, that I don't think he should be qualified as a hero because his bad actions had a positive effect. That's interesting. 